Hey guys, about six months ago, I did a video of a bunch of old farm cars. Now, out of all those cars that I videoed and showed you guys, this is the one that you guys kept bickering about and fighting about and arguing about. So I wanted to come out here today and actually explain to you what it is. <coughs> Now I know a lot of you watching this actually think this is a Ford Falcon, but actually it's not. This is what we call a Ford Frontenac. I know it's a weird name, but uh, what can you do, right? It was the 60s. <coughs> so this car was built in 1960, and it was the only year, and it was only sold in Canada. None of these cars made it downstate back in its day. <coughs> uh, so basically what it is, uh, it's a rebadged Falcon, to put it simply. That's why so many of you are saying it's a Falcon. Because that's what on, only thing you know to compare it to, right? especially down south. But let me show you what sets this car apart from the Falcon. So let's go over and have a look. Now the, the biggest, most defining thing on this car is actually the grill. Climb over here. Oh. Now you see this grill, it's way different than what a 60 Falcon would be. A 60 Falcon would be more of a flat grill, and it's got like vents on top of each other. <coughs> and of course the Canadian badge on the front. The reason they built this in Canada, like Ford made it a Canadian car, was so it would appeal more to Canadians. <clears throat> so that's the biggest difference right there, the grill. Now I know a lot of the parts are missing here, and I'll actually post pictures in here to show you guys what it looked like complete. Now I know the fenders are gone here, but on this fender there used to be an emblem. And it was like a chrome piece that came up and it had a circle on it. And now in that circle was a maple leaf. And I had that on both sides. But both fenders are gone now. <coughs> Man, it's cold out here. something else to see here again on the back as you can see the maple leaf emblem the gas tank right there Now this was a one year production car, and it was only sold in Canada. It is a rare car, but it doesn't mean that it's worth a lot of money. <clears throat> See these chrome pieces on here? Now the hubcaps on this car, although they're gone, they also were stamped with maple leaves.
But as you can see, it looks like the frame's gone too. <clears throat> now on the hood, it would have, uh, and I'll also post a picture of this too. Instead of saying forward across the hood, it would say front and neck. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Just came across something that caught my attention. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Looks like some kind of a frame to something, but not like a, a truck frame. Check this out, like how these... Would that be to like an old uh, motor home or something? Or maybe a trailer? A mobile home, I mean, not an actual, like, truck trailer, but... I don't know. Around the front here. Oh yeah, maybe it was. Yeah, it is too, because there's the front, yeah. It's part of an old mobile home, I guess. Or the frame of it, anyway. So that's cool. Good sign there might be some stuff around here. So we'll keep looking and we'll see what else we can find. What I just found, guys, one of my favorites. Oh, look at that, man. That's a beauty. That's the biggest one I found. That's cobalt blue. That's got a nice, nice uh, embossing on it. Man, we're definitely going to have to go through this some more.